Well, I have been playing around with the Next.js 13 app directory recently and with Next.js introducing server components and client components, I must say I'm not sure where the Next team is headed with state management here. I use the Redux Toolkit library along with RTK query provided within Redux Toolkit and things can get confusing to work with, especially because how server and client component work differently and have different use cases, which makes it confusing for when and how to use state management or API caching tools like RTK query. Next.js says the preferred way to use server components is when you want that particular component to be entirely rendered on the server or any component that doesn't change dynamically and doesn't require user interactivity should be a server component. And we know Redux Toolkit is used to create a global store and that store obviously contains our different states holding information in order to avoid manual prop drilling in components. Now in the case where I call an API endpoint in a server component and I want to pass the data returned from the endpoint in the server component to other child components nested deep within, I would want to avoid prop drilling and store that data in the Redux state instead. So the nested child elements can directly access it using use selector methods provided by Redux toolkit. But the problem is the component calling the API endpoint is a server component and in order to store the data returned from API into the Redux state, we would have to use the use dispatch hook in the server component, which causes an issue. Because Next.js 13 doesn't allow us to use hooks in a server component at all, we can only use hooks in client components, basically components containing the use client directive. So how do we store the data returned from the API in a server component in the Redux store then? Well, to do that, we have to resort to importing the Redux store in the component itself and then do something like store.dispatch along with the data we want to save in the state. The method within the dispatch is the method declared in the Redux slice which saves the data to a state. Similarly, even for accessing state from the Redux store within a server component, we would have to use the imported Redux store itself and use its getState method to fetch the desired state instead of using useSelector hook. Now because we have to manually import the store and use store.dispatch or store.getState, it's no more a hook and therefore our server component is able to store or retrieve items from the global state. But because of this hook limitation in server component, we weren't able to use the use dispatch or use selector hook provided by Redux toolkit. So basically server components entirely stop us from using any hook provided out of the box by Redux toolkit, which prevents us from using these special methods to make our task easier. Whereas on the client component, when we use the use client directive, we can use all the React hooks normally as we always did before. So in order to update the state, we can use the use dispatch hook and to access state, we can use the use selector hook and so on. This ends up providing two different ways entirely to work with global state management. And on server components, we aren't even able to utilize the amazing special hooks provided by Redux toolkit out of the box. All of this will require us to be extremely careful while working with state management because we would always have to take into account the type of component we are working with, whether client or server, instead of directly setting up Redux and getting started with it. Server components have most certainly made the process of working with certain external libraries a bit complicated since most of these libraries weren't configured to work with this type of change. So although everything can still work fine at the end of the day, I hope things get less confusing and more streamlined with time. So that's all for the video, I would love to know your thoughts in the comment section. If you found the video insightful, don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more.